We're doing another crew review. It's a redo of the Rocket Giotto Premium Plus with PIP. Hi, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and yes, this machine has been around for a very long time. And since the Apartamento has been getting all the love lately and the R60V, you know, these guys are be being uh, feeling a little neglected and I don't like that. So I want to go over this machine, go over the features of it, the size and the functionality and all that kind of stuff. So bear with me here. Uh, they did add on from the first version, they added on a PID. And what does this allow you to do? It allows you to control the temperature of the copper boiler that is within. This is a heat exchanger machine. So you see this up at 251, 252. It's a heat exchanger. You actually need the boiler a little bit higher. And by the time the water goes from the boiler to here, it equates. And in the manual, they have a table that will tell you that at 251, the boiler temperature up here for the brew head is actually 204. So you can, you can change the PID and make it whatever you want. And it goes from everything from 244 up to 256, I think we saw, 256. Oh, and by the way, while we're here, this is the manual. It is a really nice manual. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff that comes out of Italy sometimes has manuals that are a little bit convoluted because they're translating from Italian to English. This is done very well. I quite like this manual. Rocket did a nice job on that. What else comes in the box? You'll get a double spout portafilter. You get a single with a single basket inside there. You get this handy dandy little brew head brush, a scoop. You're gonna get a DVD that gives you the basics on how to get started with this machine and brew yourself a shot. And you're also gonna get a micro cloth for keeping it shiny. We kind of like that. I mean, the micro cloths are the way to go. It keeps the, the uh, and what is the casing? It is a polished stainless steel casing, and that keeps that nice and shiny. This comes in two different um, versions. This is the Giotto, and there's the Cellini. What's the difference between the two? Nothing but aesthetics. If you can see, this is bumped out. This is the Giotto. The Cellini has straight sides. That's the only difference. The rest is all the same. It has the E61 brew head, which uh, has siphoning hot water from the boiler through it all the time to keep it at an even temperature. That's a nice feature, gives you consistent shots. If you've got a cold brew head, by the time the water comes from the boiler to the brew head, down through the coffee, you'll be brewing with coffee that, and water that might be 180, 185 degrees, and that's just gonna make for a, a really nasty shot. So consistency in temperature is important. Hot water spout over here, anti-burn steam arm over here. These are both kind of anti-burn, but yeah, they're gonna get a little warm. So let's see, we have a two-hole tip right there that produces pretty good steam. I've never had any trouble with it. Two meters down here, manometers. This one here tells you what the pressure inside the boiler. This one over here tells you the pressure at the brew head as you're brewing. It should pop up to about 10 if you've got the grind right and then go back to about nine, nine and a half. Three-way solenoid valve right here that uh, after you get done brewing, the excess moisture is relieved off of the brew head. It goes down through there and down into your drip tray. You'll see it dripping. Back here, you have your water tank and this is not a plumbable machine. This is water tank only. And it is a 98 ounce water tank. It's pretty big. And on the inside, you've got a copper boiler with brass end plates that is 1.8 liters, uh, very nice size. Cup rail up here, it comes with the acrylic cup rail. You can see that's uh, smoked acrylic. You can also, as an accessory, purchase the metal cup rail, which is really nice to go on this. It runs about, I don't know, as of this airing, around 100 bucks. Cup warmer up here. This is ambient heat coming up from the boiler. So that's the basics of this machine. I want to show you how the hot water flows from this. <laughs> hot. Don't put your hand on the bottom of the cup when you're putting hot water in there that's 200 degrees. Just a warning, right? That's the autofill. That'll go off in a second. 
because I took hot water from the boiler, it is automatically filling from the water tank into the boiler. And then it's going to drop down a little bit over here. Not a lot, just a little, because you're putting cold water in. It stands to reason, right? So let's just make a drink. The other thing you can do with this machine is you can brew and steam at the same time because it's a heat exchanger. It'll keep up with whatever you want to do. It is not rated for commercial use, but it's certainly rated for high-end household or even medium household, high-end, medium, whatever you've got going on. So we have the Fausto grinder over here, which is another item made by Rocket that we quite like. This grinder, check out the crew review on it. This grinder just is, to me, is really nice. I like it a lot. So this is heating up over here, and it's rising. By the time I get my grind ready, it'll be ready to go. This slide over here indicates that the machine is on or off. The other thing that you're going to notice with this, and just a, a note, you want to use water that has a little bit of minerals in it. Not a lot, a little bit. Filtered, but not distilled or reverse osmosis. If this light is blinking, that's an indication that the, that the water tank has either run out of water or you've used water that is filtered way too much. So make sure that your water has just a little bit of minerals in it, not a lot, a little bit. There's a sensor down in the bottom there that senses the minerals in the water as it's passing by. If there's no minerals, it thinks it doesn't have any water, even though your tank is full. So that's just a, that's a side note. We're gonna make a drink. What kind of drink are we gonna make? Cappuccino. What else is new, right? Of course, we'd love to have any of your comments uh, down below. I want you to tell us about your experience with this machine since it's been around for a little while. I'm sure you guys have stories to tell. I want to hear them. I want to hear about how you love it. All right. Oh, the other thing that you want to do on a heat exchanger machine before you actually brew, if it's been sitting for about five minutes or so, you want to do a purge. How a heat exchanger works is it's a boiler like this, big boiler, three quarters full of hot water. And that other quarter that's empty is where your steam comes from. That water in there is actually at steaming temperature, which is much higher than brewing. Within that water, a tube goes in the boiler, tube goes in one end, it's sealed, comes out the other end, and that's what feeds your brew head. The time that it takes for that water to get from point A to point B, it collects the proper amount of heat to give you the proper temperature at your brew head. If the water is sitting in that hot water, steamy water, it's too hot. So you want to purge about seven seconds or so out to circulate that hot water out of there. There, now that's ready to go. And you also want to, before you start steaming, get the condensation out. Can I brew and steam at the same time? I can. I don't know if I'll be successful at it, but I can. That is hot enough. Not bad. Make sure you purge that out. You don't want that milk and that steam arm siphoning back up into the boiler. If that should happen, you will have a experience that is not great. You will have milk up in your boiler that is very, very hot. It will turn into burnt milk up in there and you will have quite a smell and the only way to get rid of that is to replace the whole boiler. That looks pretty good. Woohoo! Uh-oh, about to overflow. 
Let's see, what are we gonna call that? You tell me, name it. I don't know what to call it, but really what counts? The flavor, that's all I can say. Mmm, ooh, that's really good. We're using the static and this is the classic espresso. Mmm, that's very smooth and nice, I quite like that. So that's a redo of the crew review of the Rocket Premium Plus with PID. It almost got me there for a second. I almost went apartamento, but hey, the apartamentos had enough of my attention lately. I'm here to give you some love, Giotto. Check it out on our webpage. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Comments down below. And um, maybe we'll give some of the other rocket machines some love too. Talk to you later. Stay tuned. Thank you.